The Library of Congress announced this year's selections to the National Film Registry today, and it ensures that motion pictures, big screen blockbusters, documentaries, even a student film will be preserved. Kai Jackson takes us to the library's massive audiovisual center in Culpeper, Virginia, to learn how this year's 25 films were chosen. You're getting a little touchy, aren't you? The films that will go down in history include such iconic big screen features as the 1998 war classic Saving Private Ryan, the horror film Rosemary's Baby, and the coming of age comedy Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Just films that if somebody came in from outer space and they wanted to know what made the country tick, this is the sort of film, this would explain the United States to a degree. The diverse list also includes documentaries and silent films. At the library's cavernous audiovisual conservation center in Culpeper, staffers work to preserve old, flammable nitrate films. 70% of the nation's silent features are already lost. People were learning how to make films back then, so you have great performances. I mean, some of the best films ever were made during that era. While a board of film experts weighs in with registry suggestions, there is fan lobbying for spots on the list. The library gets 1,500 emails and letters from the public each year, nominating some 2,200 films. One fan mail favorite that made it this year, the Coen Brothers quirky cult film, The Big Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. They're very passionate and they kind of have adopted this culture, you know, as part of theirs. And so they'll sign it yours and dudeism and things like that. This year's editions bring the film registry total to 650. If your favorite film still isn't there. It's not like the Academy Awards or other awards where it's that year and that's it. Always next year. Kai Jackson, ABC 7 News. All right. Well, the Library of Congress welcomes suggestions from the public, as you heard there. And you can see the complete list of films chosen this year and find out more on our website, WJLA.com. I can pretty much guarantee you won't see the interview on that list. I don't think <laughs> so. You won't there. see it anywhere, <laughs> actually. Sure.